Give me the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you Hey guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and it's so good to have you. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a pick a card all about who is being a fake ass bitch with you. And we're gonna get into the details and get the story and get what's going on. So I'm glad you're here today. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what is up? How are you? It's always good to connect with your energy and I truly appreciate you guys being here so so keep in mind this is a general reading it's a general session so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind I do offer personal and private readings and sessions all that information and my social media is down in my description box below today I'm going to be using my little Halloween marshmallow people uh, I love these three that I have I wish I had all of them but they came out a really long time ago They're this one doesn't have a nose, but hey, it fell off. But I love it. I still love it. So um, anyway, these are going to be your psychic linking objects. I will insert a little video where you can kind of connect with each little marshmallow person and see which one calls to you. If more than one calls to you, then you may have more than one fake, fake ass bitch <laughs> in your energy. And I'm sorry. <laughs> So anyway, you may have more than one person or more than one message uh, coming forward for you. So, um, and with that said, let me just hold up each one of these and I will let you kind of check it out. I don't know how much you can see because this light here, I'm still figuring it out. Cool. It's the bat one. We're going to call this the bat. We could call it noseless one or the bat. <laughs> okay. And then the second one is this little kitty cat it's a cat little cat dude cat person yeah so cute I love these so much and um, we have the devil I actually have one more it's a witch but I don't have it on the table so I'll use that sometime too but anyway these are your psychic linking objects and let me pull them, push them back a little bit so y'all you can see them all. These, I will insert that video where you guys can kind of chill out and see which group or which marshmallow person calls out to you. And I will see you beautiful magical creatures on the other side. Bye guys. Wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I'll Go! to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat em. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it, you know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic, keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy, the enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily, spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me, I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this, freedom is priceless Spread just like a virus, living in a crisis Do you feel courageous? Do you seek greatness? Trust me, you can take it
Hey group one, if you were drawn to this really cool bat um, marshmallow Halloween person, this is gonna be a reading all about who is being fake with you. Who is that fake ass bitch around you? Let's get into it and see. So first I'm gonna pull from the Mausolea Oracle deck. Okay, tell me. Tell me who's being fake. I'm playing a couple people. I'm seeing a group of people. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna get this bottom card here. We have Masquerade, boom. <laughs> masquerade, that's pretty dead on. So definitely a validation that yes, you do have, maybe you were thinking you didn't have a fake person around you. You do, okay, you do. That's just validation. Well, some channel messages for you guys. Tell me about this fake person around group one. Who's being fake with group one? Who's being fake? I'm getting like brown eyes, green eyes. I'm seeing blue eyes, but the blue eyes are almost hazel. We have blue eyed stranger. <laughs> okay, for some of you, uh, this person being fake with you, you don't really know them very well. Okay, so it may be an online acquaintance or something. They may have blue eyes. Who is being fake? Destroy. Okay. Wow, this person has really bad, bad vibes. Okay, we have hater. Okay, who is this fake ass person around group one? You have a true blue hater um, around you. Someone who I feel like they, I'm seeing a smile like the smile on um, the Joker. Um, so I'm seeing a smile like the smile on a Joker, uh, on the Joker character, but really they're, they're like planning your demise. Like they're planning to fuck you over. Y'all, they're planning to fuck you over. Okay? Like just take that in. All right? Like this is a petty, I want some more cards. This is a petty ass motherfucker right here. Like for real. You guys, um, and it may be a little heartbreaking. I'm going to get this card. We have red hair. They may have red hair or their hair may be dyed red or they have a different like, I'm seeing a vibrant red. So it may not be like a, like an Auburn. All right. But that won't be for everyone either. So, okay, let's get some more energy. Okay. So this fake ass person around you is a hater. They really would like to destroy. I'm seeing like job, money, um, family. For some of them, there's something about like your relationship as well. Uh, it's still like for some of you, this could be like an in-law, um, a sister-in-law, brother-in-law, person-in-law. Uh, it could be a, a peer of some kind. I feel like this is for some of you, you've like, you've like partied with this person. For some of you guys, you've known them for a while, inner child. I'm feeling like you've known them since you, you were young or you've known them for several, several years. They didn't always hate you. They weren't always fake, but I feel like there's something about your energy, like you changed. And I don't think you changed in a, in a tough way. I think you changed in the way you communicated. I think you matured. And um, for some of you, this person is still like a little immature. And uh, it's like they didn't really grow up very well, meaning like their family wasn't really very good to them, so they didn't have good boundaries. They may have been an only child or there may have been a big age difference in siblings. Just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. We have voices from the other side. Ooh, okay, all right. I feel like those are your ancestors, your guardians, your wards, whatever you work with, your, your God forms. I feel like they want you to know you're protected from this person, uh, this fake ass person who's wanting to fuck you over. For some of them, they really wanna get into your relationship. Um, we have two cards here. We have vanity. Ooh. Ooh, they think you're vain. We have, she's got it all together, needs no one, independent woman. They think you're stuck up. They think you, I think there's something about you that's so attractive. You may have a darker aesthetic or an unusual aesthetic. Um, you may be the one with red hair or vibrantly colored hair. Um, and I feel like they think you're vain. And for many of them, they don't think you should be vain. You have no reason to be vain. Like this person is a vicious hater. 
and they are an undercover hater. Like this could be like a sister, brother, cousin, a coworker. Um, this, I feel like for some of you, you've gone to lunch or dinner or you've had meals with this person. Um, I feel like you've invested time with this person and I feel like this person may be a Leo or you're a Leo or a fire sign Sagittarius Aries. And I feel like they're jealous because you appear to have it all together. Like you're attractive. And, you know, it doesn't mean everything's perfect. I'm just telling you, like, this is their impression of you, that you got it all together, you're stuck up, or you think you have it all together, and you're stuck up, um, you're selfish. They, some of them think you're a narcissist. And um, it's part of it beca is because you're attractive. For some of you, you're very physically attractive. For others, you have a great sparkling personality, and they hate that because you get attention. You get more attention than they do, okay? This is someone who, okay, I'm getting for some of you, this fake ass person is someone who, it's like they had a quote unquote glow up, but really it's like they copied you. Wow. I'm getting like that movie, single white female vibes. <laughs> yeah, like you guys need to figure out who this person is, okay, because I feel like they are not they are not good to have around. Some of you know who it is, and it's, it's like someone, it's like a forced relation, like you have to kind of be around them. Um, and what I, I'm, I'm thinking you probably need to do is get distance. So don't go to lunch with them. You don't have to go to lunch with them. Yeah, they'll probably ask you why. But you know, this kind of energy doesn't really deserve much of an explanation, okay? Because anything you throw at this person, they would deny. Um, they would uh, deny, they would, I'm getting a lot of energy coming from my portal that's open across from me, so they would deny it, they would blame someone else, they would start a fight to distract you, anything to distract you from being confronted. This person does not like to be confronted, so you should probably, you know. Um, well, I got a few cards here, so let's just take these cards. I feel like this, this deck here is talking. Um, we have God, Church, Religious, institutions okay so this person may be religious um, and I'm feeling like a a constricted kind of religion like there's very ideal kinds of norms and things like that very judgmental okay so I feel like this person if it's not religion then this person's very judgmental this is a person that in a friend group that talks shit about everyone and the people know they talk shit about them but they just kind of let it pass because it's the way they are. They don't really believe anything they say. Um, and I think this person, and some of you guys may not know that because some of you guys don't talk about it in this friend group if this, if this relates to you, but you know, okay, you know. Um, and some of you know who this is, but some of you don't. And it's very surprising because it feels close. Those of you who don't know who this is, it feels, it feels shocking. It feels like, really? They were hating on me the whole time. I never noticed that they bought like six of the same outfits I had. Like I never, I never noticed like hey, how they were like mirroring me. You know, I never noticed that. So I feel like for a lot of you, this might kind of wake up your awareness to who's around you, who's real and who's not. A secret admirer love, okay. Um, and what I'm feeling with that for this reading is I'm feeling obsession. They're a little obsessed with you. Scorpio energy here may not be a Scorpio sun, moon rising, may be a Scorpio like in Mars, Venus. Um, there's something about Aphrodite here as well. So for some of you guys, you might work with Aphrodite. This is a little side message. They come in sometimes. If you've been working with Aphrodite or you've cast some kind of love spell or you're doing love manifestation, it's working. You have a secret admirer around you. Okay, we have the book of shadows, knowledge and spells. Okay. For some of you, this person, this fake person has cast it on you. They've cast it to drain some of your energy because they're so jealous. They want the attention on themselves. And for some reason, they cast this not realizing that they can cast on themselves and create their own wonderful energy. You know, you don't have to steal it from someone. But they also are hating on you. They want to destroy you. So they want to take that energy you have and turn it into something bad or just poke a hole and, and let it like, 
let it kind of bleed out kind of thing, you know. Um, for some of you, that that's hex energy. Uh, for a few of you, there's curse energy. For some of you, this won't resonate at all. For some of you, this is somebody who's jealous of your abilities, um, and they have stolen, like, spell work or things like that from you, and they try to use that spell work. It's like, for some of you, they're trying to get your knowledge without actually doing anything. So it's like they're trying to cast work to kind of, like, you know how you copy a phone? You know, you have that little app where you copy a phone. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. It's, it's very it's very strange to me. So a spy, someone is keeping tabs on you. Yeah, this person is spying on you for sure online. Um, if this is someone who knows you in real life, um, they're definitely spying online. For a few of you, they're trolling you online under a fake name. Uh, this person... <laughs> This fake ass motherfucker needs to get a life, okay? There's just so much obsessive energy about you. And you know, I'm getting I'm getting that silence of the lambs dude, Buffalo Bill. Like, I think this person, for some of you, is like secretly got some real issues. Okay, real issues. They want to destroy you. They want to mess you over. They want to fuck you over. Your relationship, your job, it doesn't matter. Whichever. For some of you, like, um, if you have children, they don't like your kids. Okay, I feel like this could be um, a magic worker who is jealous. Okay, let's get these two cards here. Okay, we have the chariot, all right, and we have the emperor. It's in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse. Um, yeah, I feel like they want to be you. They want to be you. They want to be this energy, but they can't. They can't walk into it. They can't walk into the pa that power because they're not you, and they're immature, they're petty. And the thing is, is that no matter how they mimic you, because I feel a mimicking energy here, how they mimic you, whether it's your abilities or how you look or your personality, um, and for some of you, they're like after your partner or a partner who, like someone who's like similar to your partner. It's very strange. It's a very strange thing, this fake friend. Um, but the truth is, is that they're, they're not very strong. And um, they have, some of them have some real uh, mental health issues. So uh, just be careful. And um, I feel like for many of them with this chariot, like there's a part of them, see the coffin in the, in the ambulance there? I feel like there's just a part of them that they're cut off from. And it, it's almost like, their true personality is cut off from them, so they copy people around them and mimic it, okay, because they don't know how to develop it on their own. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. Came, it came out in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse. Yeah, I feel like for many of you, you've known this person a long time, and it's as if there was a shift within you that kind of changed this person, how they viewed you, and it became this thing. It became this fake thing. I don't think they were fake from... For not all, all of you, but for a lot of you, I don't think they were always fake. I think for some of you, this developed over time, okay? And um, for those of you who are aware of who this is, you know they've been through a lot, right? So that's really why they've come to this place. I feel like they're, they're cut off from areas within their own personality, and um, it's causing a lot of anger. And unfortunately, that anger is being placed towards you. Okay, group one, that's what I got for you. That's who is your fake ass person that's around you, you guys. So be careful. Um, do your protections and wa watch out for this person. And I enjoyed this reading. I hope you did too. I hope this uh, resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group two, all of you that were drawn to this really cool kitty cat s'mores marshmallow person this is going to be your reading all about who is being fake around you who is being a fake ass bitch we're going to find out all about it now you guys there feels like there's love involved in this one group two so if that doesn't resonate for you then this may not be your reading but let's get into it there may be messages for you if that doesn't resonate but let's get into it tell me about this fake ass bitch that's around group two tell me about this fake person I feel like someone is hiding the fact that they have fallen in love with you. It could be a friend, could be at work, could be in a social group, but that's just what I'm getting. So it doesn't feel malicious. The group one was woo, woo, <laughs> woo, woo. 
intense hater energy for group one. Group two, you feel like someone's just not being honest about how they really feel about you. Um, for some of you, this could be deep platonic love, but for many of you, this is like, you know, love, <laughs> love, love. Okay, all right, we're going to, I'm gonna take these cards. We have the nine of pumpkins. Who is this fake person around you? I don't even want to call him a fake ass bitch because I feel kind of like, ah. Okay, so we have, oops, we have the nine of pumpkins here. Okay, we have the king of potions. It's in reverse and I'm going to take it because um, I feel that. I, I feel that. I feel like I'm not going to tell him. Are you going to tell him? I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> you know, like I... Ah, I don't want to lose my connection with this person, so I am not going to tell him. Okay, we have the magician. Okay, that is up, that is upright. We have the magician. This is a Hocus Pocus deck. I love this deck. Um, and we have the page of potions in reverse. I'm going to take that in reverse. You guys, um, this person is going to stay silent. Okay, they are f afraid that you are going to find out... Um, and it's going to ruin the friendship you have or something like that or your connection or you won't want anything to do with them. You guys may have a person. Uh, this could also be like a friend who is confused about their feelings. Like they feel like they may have like romantic feelings for you, but they're not sure. So they're not going to say anything. Um, and I feel like for some of you, they're trying to manifest this connection. Like they're trying to see a way to make it happen. Okay. Uh, this is pretty deep. We have the king of potions in reverse. We have the page of potions in reverse. So a lot of emotion with this person. So I feel like they put on an air of like they have relationships. They may be poly or they may be in a relationship right now. And they just act like you guys are the best of friends. They really love your energy. They love being around you. Um, but they're very secretive about this. And I feel like they're nervous. You make them nervous. We have the eight of candles or this is seven, seven of candles here. Yeah, lots of energy. Like they are, I'm seeing them on the ready. Like they're just like, if they find out and I feel like they're having a hard time not flirting with you. I think for some of you, they have flirted with you, um, but you just thought, ah, oh, it's just, you know, they're joking around or whatever. No, they are not. If someone is flirting with you over and over, there's probably, even if it's, there's something there. Okay. So, um, and this is coming forward just so you know that there are people around you who truly, really care about you. This person's like a ride or die. And that's why they don't, they don't want to say anything because they want you in their life. They want you around, okay? So they really don't want to gamble because there's something about this connection that they feel like they would be gambling your friendship or the connection they already have and they don't ever want to lose that. Maybe you've had to let people go in your life who crossed your boundaries, who violated your boundaries and so they are painfully aware of your boundaries and they feel the boundary that you've set up with them and they respect it, but damn, you're hot. That's what I'm feeling, like I'm hearing. like. Damn, you're so hot. You're getting hotter every day. Like, how am I supposed to not say something to you? How am I supposed to? So it's getting more difficult for them to do. We have the Knight of Pumpkins. Yeah, but slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, there's just something about this person that they don't feel confident. So it's stable. The connection here feels stable. It feels, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel unhappy. It feels like someone you can talk to. Uh, you have confided in this person, many of you. Um, they may be an earth sign or a water sign. So they could be earth, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or water, Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio. Uh, and we have the sun. Yes. I feel like your relationship is probably really positive. Okay. I feel like this person may not have had a lot of positive relationships. Um, this could also be in a situation where this is your partner. And I feel like they have held back access to like completely falling in love with you. Like they're in love with you, but they've held back a little bit because of their baggage, because of everything they've been through. So they haven't been, they're open to love, but you know, there's, there's a f more gates. There's a little few more walls to get to before you get to the heart of them. And it's because they've been hurt. And I feel like um, they're having a hard time holding up those boundaries that they've set for themselves or they're falling. 
okay they're falling and so I feel like in that situation that this repressed emotional energy uh, repressed with the king of cups in reverse king of potions and the king and the page of potions in reverse I feel like a dam is going to break and flip those cards upright and they're going to be like very um very affectionate they're going to be much more warm um it's going to be a shift in your relationship so are they being a little fake with you yeah but it's not in a malicious way they're being fake with themselves you know they're not acknowledging the depth of this connection but for others this is like a friend who's fallen in love with you who yeah they're repressed in expressing their emotion because they think they'll lose you and they would rather be your friend for 50 years than your lover for five days or five minutes or never you know what I mean so um, and we have temperance okay <laughs> This is nervous energy that I'm feeling, like anxiety. I think sometimes um, the way you move or the things you say um, make them nervous because they're afraid they're going to say something. They're afraid they're going to, they've caught themselves flirting with you and they're like, ah, I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. So there's something about this connection that they feel um, unnerved by. So I'm going to get some romantic messages here um, for some of you. Because this may be someone that some of you uh, might be interested in, okay? If you are, you're going to have to like show this person, like we have the getting to know you card. You're gonna have to show this person that you're open, okay? Um, and it may take a while for them to be convinced that you're open. Because I feel like for some of them, at one point they thought you were open and the door slammed shut. Okay, maybe you hooked up with somebody, maybe you got in a relationship, whatever it was. So I feel like, um, if you want to open up the possibility of this person and you being together, then you need to do this. You need to spend time like connecting with their wants, connecting, asking them about their day, making time to talk to them, like going out of your way to show them that you are there and present. Okay, that's going to help them feel more safe and maybe turn the page of potions and the page of uh, the king of potions right side up. Okay, uh, I think. With this person, you have to be careful, though. I feel like this person is very tender-hearted. They may be Pisces here um, or Libra. Um, I just feel that or Taurus. Taurus can be very tender-hearted. That's why they're so, you know, they're very. They can get very like strong and defensive, and because they are, they have a very tender heart. So, I feel like this person may be very tender-hearted, and they're afraid you're going to break their heart. I feel like they think you're a heartbreaker. Whether you think so or not doesn't matter. Okay, that's what this person thinks. So, okay, we have love yourself first, okay? I feel like um, this person would probably feel more safe coming forward if, um, what, what is, how am I trying to say this? It's, it's hard to say, but it's like you being on your own for a while. So like if you've been in a relationship, they're going to want you to be like independent for a while before and show them interest and, you know, do all those things before they can really warm up to it. Because I feel like they are really scared that you wouldn't be in their life anymore. Like this feels like someone who feels this love would never be returned to them. They love you so much. They love you so much that they're willing to go on, get a different partner, have a different life, and you always be the one that got away kind of thing so it's kind of sad it's almost like they feel like they don't deserve you um, or they're not good enough for you okay let oh we're gonna take that one okay this one is it is safe for you to love okay and I feel like that's part of the issue here is they don't feel like it's a safe it's safe for them to love you openly okay so they're just gonna continue this kind of pattern you know are they being fake with you uh, yeah but it's not malicious it's more like you know it probably wouldn't work anyway so why even tell them right we can just be friends in a way this may feel a little dishonest but I don't think they're doing it to hurt you I think they're doing it to protect themselves so just just keep that in mind okay hey group two that's what I got for you I hope this resonated if it did or it didn't please leave me a comment in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you guys I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that picked this devilish little s'more person, this is going to be your reading all about who is being fake with you, who is being a fake-ass bitch 
with you. So keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, let's get into it. I'm going to start with the Haunted House Tarot deck. I read it more like an Oracle deck. But um, we're going to get into it and find out who is this fake-ass person around you. Tell me about this fake-ass person. Okay, now they're wanting me to go into this first. Okay, let's do that. All right, one more time. We're going to knock it. Okay, who is this fake-ass person around group three? Who is this fake-ass person around group three? Who's a fake person? Okay. Okay, they're spreading lies. So they are gossiping about you and telling outright lies about you. Narcissist, user. This may be someone who uses humor in a backhanded way. They could be sarcastic. They could make hurtful, funny comments. Um, this is someone who probably has a history of lying or gossiping about other people and this is spirit telling you they're doing it to you okay let's find out more about this person tell me more about group three's person who is being fake around group three i feel like they have probably taken advantage of you it may be as as little as you always bring them breakfast and they never bring any for you or this person may be a taker they've just taken a lot as a friend, maybe they've borrowed things and not brought them back. It could be family as well. I'm seeing like the Joker. I saw that with, for the first group too. So I'm feel, feeling someone who like wears a fake smile. They're not sincere. They have a history of not being sincere with people. This person feels cold. Um, and it may be like, oh, that's just my friend. She's a little like that, but it's okay. And I, that's energy, not gender. I don't really talk about gender. I talk about energy. So uh, give me another card. There's one. I'm going to need three to five cards. So this one and that one. Okay. All right. Tell me about group three's person. Okay. We have the two of wands in reverse. Okay. They're stuck. They're stuck on you. This came out kind of weird. Um, so we're going to read it in reverse. This is the lovers in reverse. Um, this is the eight of wands um, upright. And we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, and I'm feeling that Seven of Wands as kind of like, this is low. Like some of the things some of these people are saying about you, this is a gossip. Uh, some of the things people are saying about you are um, like, I'm feeling like that you are promiscuous, that you don't think very much of yourself, that you're not attractive. I mean, this person is like, if you're a parent, you're not a good, per you're not a good parent. Um, I'm going to take those two that hit the table. Um, you're not a good parent. Uh, you're not a good person. You're a liar. It's funny. A liar is calling you a liar. Okay. We have death in reverse. Yeah. I feel like um, they're not going to change. Okay. This person is not going to change. For some of you, this fake ass person is someone who may have had a history of this. And they have made people think that they changed or you thought they changed. They haven't changed. It's the same. They're petty. Um, this is someone like if you give them money for coffee, say you give them four dollars and um, it was like, you know, three dollars. They keep that extra dollar and they get mad if you ask for the dollar back. Um, this person doesn't. They are they stomp on people's boundaries. They take notes when they're in people's houses. Like they'll say things like, did you see that bedspread? It was so ugly. Or that person has no taste or whatever. Meantime, you know, they're sporting like counterfeit objects and things like that, like knockoffs and things. Like this person puts off that they're above other people. Um, and this is the kind of person like, I, you know, this reminds me of like a very sweet southern kind of feminine energy who's very sweet, gives you the sweet tea, gives you those really good hot pickles and, you know, um, seems to really like you and talk to you and understand you. And then when you leave, you know, she calls in the aunties and tells people all the dirt on your life. So uh, it, it feels like that kind of energy, like complete misrepresentation of who they are. Um, and I feel like this person may bake goods or make food or something there's something with food here for some of you it won't resonate for others it will for some of you like this is like 
a maternal figure, like an auntie, a grandma, a mama. Um, it could be a, a sister, but it feels like there may be an age difference here. It could be somebody at work or a friend who's older as well. And really what they're doing is they're, as you confide in this person, they're just like taking mental notes. Uh, this person likes to gossip. They love to gossip. Like it is their hobby and they're very good at it. And I feel like some of them have a reputation for being a pot stirrer, causing drama, very dramatic, like an out of an out of alignment or an out of balance Leo, Sag, an out of balance Taurus, an out of balance uh, Libra, uh, Gemini Aquarius, we're gonna count all of those, an out of balance Scorpio, because Scorpio is really good about keeping secrets, but you know, when they get catalysted, they all those secrets become something that can be a can be weaponized okay this is someone who weaponizes the stories they hear about you um so i feel like this person's coming forward as fake for you to be aware of who you confide in okay if you have a feeling someone's not for you then go with that until they prove to you otherwise okay we have the the page of wands here okay um you know, I just, this person, it, it feels like they're very immature. I'm getting from this page, I'm getting like immature. It's almost like they fake being a grown up so they can find out dirt and then they just can't wait to call and tell people about it. And I feel like their life is very humdrum. It's very predictable. So they get their excitement from shit like this. Um, and honestly, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I have to call it what it is. They feel a little bit like a garbage person. Like, and, like a person who just is like a tabloid. They are devoid of any real depth, okay? They, I feel like a lot of them, they may go to church, they may play like they're this perfect person. Um, and I'm getting a lot of like Martha Stewart vibes, like keeping house and all that kind of stuff. Um, they may have a job, but really their home is their main focus. I feel like this someone may like decorate their house all the time. They may have a really nicely decorated house, very immaculate. Their car is immaculate. They may have a clean cleaning thing, like they have a um, their OCD about their house being clean. It's all about um, presentations. It's all about how they appear, and they do that because the the more they appear like everybody else, yet a little bit above everybody else, the more dirt they get on people. It, it's just, this person needs to get a life, for real. Like, th this is, this is crazy. Some of you guys know who this is. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, I'm going to take those two. We have spy. They're definitely spying on you. So, if you have an online presence, they've seen it. They've looked for it. Like, I see this person, like, putting your name in, like, one of those search engines and finding your, your accounts and stuff, like, that kind of thing. This person is beyond nosy, okay? They, they are a troublemaker, and they like to make trouble just to make trouble. Sometimes they like to make trouble because it works in their favor, because I feel like there are people that they talk to about you and other people that find, like, they give good, they give us good information on people, things we need to know. Like, we need to know if that person really is, you know, this particular religion. Or we need to know if that person really is dating that person. We need to know those things. These are a bunch of busybodies who don't need to know about your life, okay? The only reason they're so interested is because they don't have one. It's just, it's really, it's really sick. We have secret admirer. I think... I think some of them have, what I'm getting from this card is they're judging the way you look. Like they think that you look a certain way to attract attention. Well, we all want attention, but I feel like you are uh, just expressing yourself. You may get a lot of attention from um, people for attraction and romance. Um, you may have had a lot of partners or you may just be very attractive, okay? And attraction can be physical. It can be your personality. It can be the way you, you carry yourself. I think some of them, I'm hearing the word like Jezebel, that kind of thing, like very judgy, very judgy, judgy, judgy. I mean, it has to do with, they, I feel like some of them are like, this person uses people. Like they use their romantic connections for money and things like that. Um, very judgy and... Um, they may have like, they may go to church or something like that too. I'm feeling that as well. So let me get another card here for you guys. I'm gonna pull from the Shadow and Light Oracle deck. Tell me more about group three. I feel like you guys need to pay attention. 
okay? Because someone is, they're lying about you. We have Nautilus Princess, powerful personal growth. Okay, I feel like this judgy energy is around you. This fake ass bitch is around you. And it could be bitches. It could be several people. Um, because you're in this energy. You're, you're growing. You're changing. You're evolving. You're healing. Your out of, outer appearance may be changing. And it's part of what the secret admirer stuff is about. Like, uh, they're like, oh, you know, you know, they're wild now. They're doing this. They're doing that. Blah, blah, blah. Did you see what they posted online? Did you see what they were wearing? Like, just constantly hammering at your appearance or the things you're doing or the work you do. And the thing is, is that you're really kind of untouchable here. So this fake ass person doesn't realize that even though you may not realize how fake they're being with you, you do now and you're gonna watch out, but you're so in your own personal power that you don't really care. It doesn't really affect you. But it's good to know when people are talking about you like this. On a consi This is consistent. This isn't like a one-off thing. It's good to know who's not really for you so you can invest your energy in the people who are. All right? Okay, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I'll see you beautiful magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.